A wave of homosexuality has swept across the globe within only four to five years. Everywhere we go, we see rainbow flags hung. We witness pride parades. And we even witness the books of our small kids having chapters promoting the idea of one love for all. Up until now, individuals belonging to this community felt embarrassed to come out and announce their sexuality. But now that they see how society has started accepting and celebrating their sexuality, they don't feel shame anymore to openly announce who they are without even giving a second thought about whether the religion they follow allows such a concept or not. A clip of two Muslim men performing queer marriage has gone viral since it was posted on a social media handle. These two Muslim men's nikah is conducted by an imam who is seen reciting Surah Fatiha as a means of blessing the marriage. What's even stranger is that the Muslim guests are also visible, which means that this wedding was not a secret affair, but one where guests were also invited and proper arrangements were made beforehand. Many of us wonder why on earth Muslims dare to do such a vile act when Islam has clearly forbidden it. Such acts are taking place just because Islamic scholars like the Imam conducting the Nikah have started labeling them as something that is natural and allowed in Islam. Masses follow their leaders and we Muslims look up to the Islamic scholars for guidance. If the Islamic scholars stop forbidding evil, then such acts will be bound to happen and will also increase in the near future. This is not the first case where an Imam has fully given acceptance to same-sex relationships. There are several examples where religious leaders have not only given the green light, but also fully promoted this filth. Imam Dayi Abdullah is believed to be the only openly gay Imam in the Americas and is really proud of his story. Imam Dayi became an Imam to provide support to the LGBTQ community as he feels that this community has faced much criticism and has unmet religious needs. His first act as an Imam was performing funeral rites for a gay Muslim who died of AIDS. Scott Siraj al haq Kagel, who is an associate professor in the Department of Middle East and South Asian Studies at Emory University and whose expertise is in Islamic society in South Asia. He has published a book, namely Homosexuality in Islam, where he has explained that homosexuality is not at all discouraged in Islam and is something that has always been there since the early times. He also says in his book that the people of Lut as mentioned in the Quran, were labeled as transgressors just because of their forced sexual assault on the travelers and not because of homosexuality. Ludovic Muhammad Zahid, a gay Islamic scholar married to a gay man and the founder of Homosexual Muslims of France, has organized a gay mosque so that marginalized gay Muslims like he himself may be able to perform salah without any discrimination. There are many examples of such religious scholars and professors in Islamic studies who are promoting this major sin and as people have the conception that such individuals have knowledge of Islam, they start acting out the sin without even considering it a sin. Muawiyah reported, the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him, said, there will be leaders after me who make false claims from their pulpits, and no one will refute their words. They will leap into the hellfire as if they were apes. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide Muslim scholars and leaders. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard us against falling into the traps of shaitan.